Leo, we are just going to pop into your love universe, okay, and just see what energies is surrounding your love life, infiltrating, just just what's, what's, what's going on, what's the vibes, okay? So immediately we have the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Charles. So the Eight of Childs, I'm actually really surprised to see these cards considering, <laughs> considering how, I think I just did Elemental Water for Love, kids of Scorpio Pisces and it's not that the vibes weren't vibing over there but that reading just like felt very private so you got um so um if you guys have because I'm bringing it up if you guys have any Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy in your chart it could just be that you guys are going through these um these privacy battles or fluctuations in energy because mutually y'all feel the same for each other mutually you have the same goals and intentions mutually you have the same benefits to bring to the table because i get so tired of internet make it seem like one and or other has to bring something to the table but this ace of pentacles i feel like is not only seed money and seed love so i feel like what's happening with you guys uh just to, over, I'm just gonna say over the course of the over the course of the course is this King of Chalice's energy. I feel like becoming more confident with like taking not just taking risks, but just being more being more vocal, being more at the forefront, being more on the scene. I guess you can say. Um, I feel like there's something very introverted about you guys' energy, but I do feel like that comes from uh, you know just some like pesky enemy wars like the king of swords is normally some type of rival or enemy like regardless of whatever face he's showing now if he comes in like smooth and you know saying all the right words versus being cold calculating and manipulative so i feel like what is happening here is there's energies that keep um funneling into you guys's universe of cold calculating calculating manipulative individuals this could be men this could be women did act like men. Okay. Queen of Chalice is in the reverse. I do feel like this person is missing um, some type of nurturing energy from you or some type of loving energy or just some type of compassion. Or it could be all the nurturing. It could be all the compassion. I don't want to make it seem like it's just a little bit. But I do see that with the King of Chalices upright and the Queen of Chalices upright, I feel like this the particular spiritual battle you guys may be going through is more so about disconnecting the woman or the feminine energy from, <clears throat> excuse me, from her man, from her masculine, from her mate, from her throat chakra, from her voice, okay? So I feel like there's something very regenerative. Regener Why do y'all keep sending me this word if I'm not going to get it out right? There's something very regenerative, regenerative re regenerating <laughs> about y'all's prayer life, okay, about... Yeah, a lot of blood cleansing. Um, some of you guys may be eating blood purifying foods and or supplements, whether you realize it or not. Sometimes you just kind of like your spirit is called or guided to consume something that has some type of um, double benefit. So that part just felt very holistic and healing. Um, I do feel like intimacy is a big thing here. Three, three, three. I feel like you guys have an intimate bond that requires protection. So sometimes it may come out that they're moving a little bit guarded. They're moving a little bit closed off or maybe just kind of like focused on work. This could be some type of financial restriction that you guys have um, started to deal with. Again, that is being lifted this next 48 to 72 hours. Okay. With the Knave of Wands coming out in the reverse and the four of chat, it's a lot of water here. So I'm glad I recorded water. Maybe I just needed to get that, get that done. Uh, here with the Page of Wands, I'm sorry, Knave of Wands coming out in the reverse. I do feel like just, it's not that the spark isn't there right now. I just feel like y'all's inner child is, or inner teen, I guess you can say, is in fight mode. Um, and I feel like it's in fight mode because you guys are not at liberty of being defeated by somebody else's like snarky comments or snarky behavior y'all was like chop it up like i don't know like this reading kind of feels like oh my gosh we be going through so much like it's like y'all go through a lot individually or this is going to be or this is the type of relationship or marriage just like y'all have y'all separate things that y'all deal with and then y'all come home and you like bang i know you lying like i know that this did not happen or do 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 
that's what this kind of feels like. Are y'all in that energy now? Uh, because the five of swords and the two of swords is given very much so like, why aren't people, um, y'all must have like Leo in an air house. Cause there, it seems like there's more thought forms and thought processes about something that y'all want to do or something that y'all want to talk about. Then the action actually is behind it. And that's probably why the naval wands came out in the reverse. Cause it's almost like y'all know what y'all need to do. But y'all be like thinking about it's like the think the thinking is so hard here. Interesting. High priestess. OK, I hope this helps somebody. I hope this helps just um, I know what my readings do. And if you're here with good intentions, I know what they do as well. So I'm not tired of talking. I just want to create more. I just want to cast more spells like at the Queen of Wands. OK, bye. Just focus on